Welcome to another episode of the Company Town of Build. On this episode, um, we're going to do, I think it's the fourth video on the series of paint and body. So, trying to get the hood so you see how the whole process worked here. Um, so, this one, basically, I'm going to go to Prime, but I'm going to show you how to mix the, the, the primer, uh, kind of a general idea how to spray it, um, you know, what do I do to make this stuff work. So, it's a long video, and then hopefully the video after that, maybe some blocking and then painting. We'll see. So, thanks for following along. Hit subscribe, and uh, I know a lot of videos to this body and paint, but there is a lot of techniques there that people should know. And uh, what that works for me may not work for you, but, you know, that's kind of uh, why it's a free country, right? You can do what you want. Thanks again for watching, and uh, enjoy. So, it's everything's taped off underneath the car. As you can see, the nose... Um, Headlights, everything's taped off, so I won't get any overspray. Here's where I'm going to depart from what the normal painters go. Normal painters, they'll use wax and grease remover and wipe the surface down over and over and over again. I use a damp rag and then a tack cloth. Um, yeah, totally out of the ordinary, but you know, if you kept your surface clean the entire time, uh, you washed it with soap. I usually use like uh, dish to dish soap, but very good at breaking down grease. And now we'll go through, wipe it down, just get any dust off, and then a tack rag to get any, you know, little bits of dust that this doesn't pick up or this leaves behind, and then I'm ready to spray. So, so I just take this damp cloth, you know, as you can see, there's still a little bit of, you know, where the, because I wet sanded part of this, dry sanded part of it. And this is where I kind of really deviate from the normal painter. Normal painters, guys that do this for a living are probably cringing right now, going, oh, how can he? This is crazy. But you know what? I've never had a paint job fail. Um, heck, you can ask the guy that bought my Cobra. He polished that thing out uh, oh, a couple of months ago. Absolutely looked amazing. So, yeah. And this is just, just the way I do it. And once it gets a little more warmth here, we'll spray. So I'm waiting for the temp to warm up a little bit. I will show you what I'm using. I'm using the Summit um, High Build Gray Urethane Primer. Um, I always label on what the ratio is and what the hardener to use because I've got so many different products in there. And uh, you know, the sealer hardener, which is almost in the same can, is different than this. And if you use it, I don't know what'll happen. Um, and then I've got the hardener here all ready to go. So and you see here I've got four to one high build. It's this way I know this stuff goes together. See, this is what's weird. Primer sealer hardener, and yet this is primer. Uh, it's kind of weird, and that's why I'm very cautious with the Summit stuff, because they make it, you got to look up their, uh, they got these little product codes on their website, and they'll show you exactly what you need um, but just yeah i always label it so i know exactly what i'm looking for and i can go to summit's website pull this product up and it'll tell me this is the uh, hardener i need uh, in a four to one make ratio so we're going to use the standard small tip on the gun i've tried spraying this like a 1.8 and it just runs like a mad dog i mean you end up with runs everywhere so it's better to use a small tip uh, and do more passes and then the stuff lays down like glass very little blocking required uh, you put a guide coat on and it uh, comes out pretty well so this will be shooting here probably the next 20 minutes uh, we'll tack off the car I got tack cloth in here tack off the hood I mean and then we will uh, mix some of this up and get it going hopefully you could see this these are the instructions on Summit's website which you can pull off so it shows you you know what you need to use for hardener uh, shows you, you know, wait time, flash time between recoats. Uh, like, you know, right here it says, uh, after seven days, solvent clean scuff, uh, maximum recoat time after sanding, seven days. Apply two to three medium wet coats. Uh, you know, and that shows you what ratio it's four to one. So they're really good about this. Everything you need, and hopefully you guys can see this, is on their website. Um, so I figured I'd just go into a little detail about waiting for the place to warm up a little bit. Since I'm waiting, I'm also, people ask me what equipment I use. So I've got a DeVilbis uh, 4 horse 30 gallon 110 air compressor. It's not enough air. Um, you know, for, for what I got here, it'll probably be enough. By the time I get done with one coat, it'll be running down, I have to turn on, I can get by. When I'm doing a full car, um, it starts, pressure starts dropping, I end up start moving in a little bit. It's what I've got to deal with, um, yeah. Now, to, get, to keep the water out, that's a whole nother system. So what I'm running is, uh, let me show you over here on my son's car. So I run his PVC system. So this PVC is on a downhill slope all the way across the garage, all the way to that end. And then there are T's that go down in like this, where then I can drain the water out of. 
so the water collects into here and then it comes up um, here and then I run uh, water trap up here as well. So I get totally clean, dry air. I regulate it from this. Uh, about 25 PSI out of here, maybe a little higher. That gets me, you know, 22 to the gun. So, um, yeah, and that's uh, that's the way I do it. And it keeps the air dry and clean. And I've had no no problems with that at all. Uh, as I said, as long as I make sure I drain those, which I just did, I'll make sure I drain those before I start spraying, and that way it collects all the water. So that's just a little bit of the equipment I use. Uh, guns. I've got a Devilbus here. This gun is, I don't know how old, um, finish line. I don't think it's anything great. It's what I've got. I've got a spare somewhere, and then I've got their DeVilbus touch-up gun. Had this thing forever. I uh, just keep using it. It works. Uh, there are probably a lot better guns out there. Uh, haven't played with them. So really can't comment on that. Uh, I've got a Binks Model 7 too, but that thing's just not an HVLP gun. It wastes material, uh, but it blows it out. You can paint a car real fast with that thing. So that's what I'm using. So follow along and we'll get the same primer really soon. Another little tidbit of information. So this stuff, this primer sealer, this primer is so thick, to stir it up is a pain in the ass. So usually the night before, I'll flip it upside down, which then all the solids will kind of filter back through. And then when I flip it back over, this thing's ready to go. Uh, very little stirring needed. All the solids on the bottom are all mixed in. I don't have a paint mixer, so it gets to be a pain in the ass using a stir stick to do it. So this is really the easiest way to do it. Just flip it over the night before, um, shake it up a little bit, and I'll shake it again before I open the lid, and uh, it'll be ready to go. So it just makes life a little bit easier. So just some of these little tips that I use that seem to help me out. As I said, I'm not a professional painter by any stretch of the imagination. It's a hobby for me. Um, it's been a hobby for a long time. I've dabbled in it. I'll go five, six years and not paint a thing. And then I might go a year while I'll paint two things. Uh, you just never know. So uh, technology's changed. I was using, um, oh gee, can't remember the name of that uh, base, single stage paint. Uh, oh gosh, can't even remember it. But uh, that was years ago. And then all of a sudden the two stage came out with base coat, clear coat, and I started dabbling in that a little bit. Well, it's a lot easier to spray. It dries way faster, which is nice. Uh, that's why I recommend nobody paint with a single stage paint anymore. It just takes too long to dry. Base coat, you throw it on within a few minutes, it's dry. You're not going to pick up dust. Now, if you're in a booth, different story, you know, where you've got clean, fresh air. But when you're doing it in a garage or in a driveway, you can't have that. So uh, that's the way I do it. Okay, so I got 16 ounces of paint. So now we're going to take this. We're going to bring this up to 20. Now we got four to one. We'll stir this and then we will strain it. Okay, while I'm waiting for this to uh, mix, I'm gonna go out and tack the hood off real quick. So take my tack rag out here. So now we're just about ready to fill the gun. Always have to strain your paint because all it takes is one little nib to get into your needle and seat and uh, you got a very bad day. Ask me how I know. Been there, done that. So. Yeah, it's amazing this stuff sprays through a 1.2 tip, but it does. And, um, because the stuff is very dense, but it sprays perfect through that small tip. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys onto a time lapse now, because uh, there's really no need to watch this. I mean, you guys have seen it, so I'll throw you on a time lapse and go from there. done um i had to clean my gun first because uh when you spray this this stuff's basically liquid bondo is really what it is i mean it's a urethane but the stuff is like a bondo almost like a body filler um so you got to clean your gun immediately don't wait get the gun cleaned because uh, if not you may never get it clean but uh, here it is it's 
all in prime. I uh, had one little right here, I had a little hole, a little pinhole there. So when a pinhole, what I do is I grab like a matchstick uh, and then I just dab a little bit of filler in there. That'll soak down the pinhole. When I block it out, it'll be gone. Then I don't have to chase those later on. But that uh, looks pretty good. I ran it here. There's a big run all the way down. I must have got overcoat. It's hard to see out here in the shade. Uh, but you don't want to spray in the sun because that's too hot and this stuff flashes too quick. But it's not bad. As I said, a little bit of blocking and uh, hopefully it's ready for paint. So we'll see. Um, oh, by the way, I'm gonna throw a guide coat. Just so you know, uh, this is a guide coat on here, so that way I can tell once I get all the highs and lows and this thing blocked off, the guide coat will be gone. So we'll let it dry a little bit and then I'll spray this guide coat on there. So I think we'll call that an episode, uh, the paint process here, or at least the prime, and then we'll get another probably video up of me actually painting, because that's gonna be a major process with three separate colors. So uh, you guys have never seen me do that, and uh, we'll take you through the whole step. That'll be a long, long video. So thanks again for watching. Uh, hit subscribe, I appreciate it, and uh, like if you like this video, and we'll keep them coming at you, and you're gonna see this car get transformed. So thanks again.